Welcome back today on East Jefferson General Hospital's Medical Moment. Camille Whitworth visits with Dr. Abhishek Kumar and discusses the many aspects of treating neck pain. Such a pain in the neck. If you are like millions of Americans who are suffering with neck pain, the good news is you don't have to. Dr. Abhishek Kumar is an orthopedic spine surgeon here at East Jefferson General Hospital, and he tells us all about the innovative ways that you can stop suffering. Yeah, neck pain is a very common problem. You know, it affects about a million people across America every year. And what this involves is both pain along the back of the neck, often in the shoulder, and really it can actually shoot all the way down the arm into the fingers. And so this affects people's ability to move, ability to be active at work or at home, and it can be really be debilitating. Somebody has neck pain. Let's talk about what some of the alternatives are and what they can do to relieve that pain. So there's a variety of different options. Again, non-operative measures are the, are the best to start with, including physical therapy, pain medications like anti-inflammatories. Um, but if those kind of things are ineffective or if the shooting pain down the arm continues to get worse, then sometimes surgical intervention is necessary. Okay, so let's talk about the latest innovation. And you are doing something that you've made more common here in our area. Yeah, absolutely. So the disc replacement is an alternative to fusion. So it's a non-fusion procedure to treat neck pain and arm pain. And so just like a knee replacement or a hip replacement, we're replacing that joint. We're maintaining the motion instead of fusing it solid, which is you know associated with different kinds of problems. And what I've seen in my practice is that the patients that get the replacement, because they're able to maintain their motion, they have a quicker improvement in their pain, they have better functional outcomes scores and they return to work even faster and this has been proven in clinical studies as well. The downtime is less. The downtime is less and return to function is faster. Dr. Kumar, who's the ideal candidate for this? So this surgery is good for adults. I've done patients as young as in their early 30s and as late as late 60s. Uh, as long as they don't have significant arthritis present in their neck, we can go ahead and do this procedure. Tell me a little bit about your typical patient. So these patients come in again with neck pain, shooting down the arm, and uh, really debilitated in terms of their function. And once they've failed non-operative measures, including physical therapy and pain medications, then often we have that discussion together presenting them the options of fusion and disc replacement, and then together we decide what will be best for them and their lifestyle. Mobility issues as well? Yeah, mobility issues, again, for the fusion, sometimes you'll notice a decrease in the range of motion. With the disc replacement, we maintain that range of motion, or some patients even notice that their range of motion improves, which is really excellent. Let's talk about results. What are we seeing, and how do you feel about some of the outcomes? Yeah, the results are very positive. I still remember one of the first patients I did, when I first entered her room, she swung and turned her neck to say hello to me and that was a real sign that again we're maintaining that range of motion and because the surgery is less invasive we're able to get people functioning even shortly after the surgery back to where they were. Are there any ways that this is similar to a hip replacement and knee replacement, things of that nature, when people say, gosh, I should have done this sooner? Yeah, absolutely. Just like the knee replacement and the hip replacement, this procedure is very similar in the sense that there's two metal plates with a mobile surgical plastic in between. And so what we see a lot of times is that patients are very scared about getting surgery. But what I encourage them to do is at least see a surgeon and have the discussion because once they get all the information, they may find that it's a good option for them. And again, we definitely see a lot of times that people wait too long and their function is compromised but once they have the surgery they kind of look back and say man I wish I really had that sooner. Dr. Kumar you've now been here three years. Yeah. Let's talk about what you love about being here and the aspects of your job. Well New Orleans is an amazing city and I'm really happy to be a part of this community but at work as well too I think it's been really rewarding because for myself I focus on minimally invasive and motion preservation surgery of the spine and so I think a lot of patients are really worried about spine surgery they've heard a lot of bad things or or they know people who've had bad outcomes and so when they come into the office there's a lot of anxiety but to be able to offer them a non-fusion procedure or a minimally invasive procedure with a small incision they're really able to get back to function faster and it really takes away a lot of the fear of spine surgery so to be able to help people from that kind of a position is really amazing. What's interesting is that a lot of people fear neck surgery. When you talk about the spine and the neck, um, how do you ease their fears? Yeah, so that's definitely a very normal thing to be worried about, but what they have to realize is that we're professionals, we've trained to do this, this is what I do every day, and you know, if you're seeing a, a qualified fellowship trained spine surgeon, they should be able to take your life in their hands and provide you a better outcome and a better life in the future. And at what point should the patient come? Is it initial pain? Is it severe pain? Chronic pain? 
any of these options are good. I think the most important thing is to discuss with your family physician first. They're obviously the quarterback for your care, and they'll be the ones to decide if you do need further consultation with the surgeon. So if you have lack of mobility or ongoing pain, let's stop all of that right now. Here, there's an innovative approach that can really help you stop suffering. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call Health Finders, that phone number 504-456-5000. I'm Camille Whitworth. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Camille. For information about Dr. Kumar, go to ejgh.org and click on Find a Physician. We'll have more great day after the break. Stick with us.